We left off last week at John Wayne's Waterfront Resort in Squim, Washington. And guess what? We're still at John Wayne's Waterfront Resort yep. in Squim, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much to see and do. Part two of last week's video where we shared our adventures in Olympic National Park and in the area. If you remember in last week's video, we were staying at John Wayne's Waterfront Resort in Squim, Washington, and guess what? We're still there. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so much to do in the area. Now we did, we also mentioned in last week's video how lucky we got. We were there for the opening of shrimp season, the opening of crab season, and we were also there for 4th of July weekend. We made a lot of new friends with the food. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were smart. <laughs> yeah. But uh, for 4th of July weekend, the RV park put on a nice little cookout. Our friend Chip, he actually used to own a restaurant. He volunteered to cook as well. And don't let him fool you, that's not real hair on his head. It's a so. crazy hat. Good, his good luck hat. <laughs> they also had live music and cornhole. We really had a good time. We really, really did. The, the RV park put on a great little cookout for yeah. everybody. And of course, after eating all that food, we had to work it off somehow. So we found the Olympic Discovery Trail. This is an awesome little bike trail, bike hiking, yeah. walking. It goes on for miles because we didn't do all of that. We had a really, really good time riding our bikes on the Olympic Discovery Trail. Like a cloud needs a sky, like the moon needs a night, we go perfect together. Like a match needs a spark, like our love needs a heart, we go perfect together. We go perfect together. Hey, let's talk at a high level. No, here let's now, talk okay? at a low level. Uh, no, high level. <laughs> All right. We're putting this up to everybody. <laughs> High level or low level? Which one gives the most details? I'm not going to say anything. Does high level give all the details or does low level give all the details? We'll see. Then we'll pick. Somebody's wrong in this group. <laughs> I think somebody's thinking about it wrong. Because you said high level. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up spoiling so it. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm gonna saying, spoil it. No, I can't, I can't. Anyways, we got a really nice day for bike, bike riding. riding. Middle of the week, beautiful day after work. We've gone maybe about five miles roughly so far. Yeah. And it's just been it's been really nice. So we're gonna continue on. We're gonna let Dina lead for a while, see if we get lost or not. No? We won't get lost. Okay. Right. Trust me. No, I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Like a guitar needs a string, like a lyrics made to sing, we go perfect together. We go perfect together. That was a really fun bike ride. It was such a beautiful day. It was so nice to get out. It was just relaxing. But while we were out, I saw a sign for a lavender farm. So a couple days later, guess what? We drove to the Lavender Farm. Sunshine Herb and Lavender Farm is so beautiful. It's picturesque. The property is just beautiful, full of 
all kinds of lavenders. And then you go into the gift shop and oh boy. It smelled like a potpourri store. Yeah, it, 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 it <laughs> was very strong. He doesn't like the smell when it's that strong, but it was beautiful. They have all kinds of wreaths and um, just things that they make with the lavender and dry flowers and stuff. Oh, it's so beautiful. And, and lots of lotions and potions and trinkets to buy. You even bought a lavender plant, I did right? buy a lavender and, plant. And you'll be happy to you know it's still alive. It's still alive. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I love it. But really the main reason for staying in that area is we did want to spend as much time as we could in Olympic National yeah. Park. So after visiting the potpourri store, or lavender farm, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> we did go back into Olympic National Park. We did a nice easy, uh, um, short hike, I'll put it that way. There was a lot of stairs. The Mary Mere Falls hike which was right on Crescent Lake or Lake Crescent. And so we really, really enjoyed that. And we also spent a little bit of time at Crescent Lake Lodge, which was pretty interesting really, as well. Really pretty. And crazy people were jumping in the water on purpose, like they meant to get in the water. <laughs> Another great day in Olympic National Park. We are just west of Port Angeles to Crescent Lake, yep. Lake Crescent. Lake Crescent. And we were doing a little short hike, only about a mile and a half round trip to, I believe it's called Mary Mere Falls. Yep. So we're gonna check it out. It's supposed Water to rain. Fall. Supposed to rain a little bit later on today. So hopefully we get back in time for that. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Before that, but these woods are pretty cool here too. Very, very pretty. Definitely different than Florida woods. Oh yeah. But uh, it looks like any day in the parks here is a good day. So we're gonna enjoy it the best we can. We still have our friends with us, they're in front of us. They still like us. <laughs> After our rubber match. <laughs> very high level. Of Marvel game. <laughs> We've been having some pretty serious card games at night, so luckily we're all still friends. <laughs> We made it to the falls. It was a very short hike. Some places have it listed at like 1.8 miles round trip. We saw another place that had a 1.5 miles round trip. Yeah. I think it's probably closer to 1.5. It was pretty pretty short hike. The first half is pretty flat. Second half, you're definitely going uphill to get to the falls. Yeah. If you're looking for a nice quiet trail, this is not it. Yeah. It's <laughs> there very is crowded. a lot of people on this trail. It I think it's extremely... because it's close to the trailhead and it's pretty easy. Yeah, this is a very easy hike yeah. in this area, but nice we waterfalls. We think the name of it is Mary Murr, Mary Mere. We're not really sure. What we'll the? Look we'll at let our. We'll let you know for sure. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> No, we'll stop at the visitor center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nice falls. Easy hike, um, last half again, it's a little bit uphill, but um, you yeah, have a little, waterfall. Yeah, a couple of bridges to go over, and yeah. now we're gonna make our way back. Yeah, beautiful hike.
We highly recommend Mary Mare Falls Trail if you're in the area. It's a beautiful trail. It's pretty easy and it's just, the falls were just beautiful. Also, the lodge was pretty cool too. Don't jump in the water. It's really cold. <laughs> and uh, what was it? August, September, oh no, July, July. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this week's video. Have a great week. Remember, always live life to the fullest. Thanks for watching. Safe travels and God bless.